Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to find the mean variance and standard deviation using the new Casio 570EX calculator. So normally in the exam, uh, you'll be given a table like this, which I already draw using the red color rectangle. So you will be get the table like this. The purpose I drawing the big a uh, rectangle, a big table like this because I need to fill up other information here so that I can easily find my variance standard deviation. I will show you how to find all this manually, then I will show you how to find uh, all this uh, using the calculator. All right, so at first you must know their formula first. So mean, basically we will use uh, this sign to represent the mean here, so which is sum of fx over sum of f. Later you will see all all this symbol at the table here. All right, then we have variance. This is a sign for variance. So the formula will be square root of, our, uh, sorry, don't have a square root. Square root is for standard deviation. So you have sum of fx squared over sum of f minus sum of fx over sum of f squared. You see carefully, you should know this one is a mean, do you see? So what happened here is just basically the mean square. Right, then lastly will be standard deviation. Standard deviation is exactly same with the variance, just with the square root. So it will be sum of fx squared minus sum of f uh, over sum of f minus sum of fx over sum of f squared. All right, so yeah, you don't need to worry so much about the formula because you will be given all this formula in your exam. Uh, but over here, I just want to teach you like how to differentiate the formula and then how to use them. All right, so first thing uh, is a sign of summation here. So how am I going to find the sum of f is quite easy. So if I want to sum all the f value here, it's called sum of f. All right, so my sum of f is just all these number plus together and I use the calculator quickly. Five plus eight plus 20 plus 10 plus seven. Then my sum of f will be 50. All right. So all right, then you will realize you have x here, but then the whole table here doesn't have x in it. The x over here is called midpoint or mid interval. All right, so maybe I call it midpoint. It's easier for a student to understand. Basically, you need to find at this interval here, you need to find what is the midpoint of it. So the easiest way of doing this is using the lower limit plus the upper limit divided by two. So it's like one plus 10, and then you type equal, then only you type divide two. Okay, so you will get 5.5. .5. Okay, this is the x value, so which is you will get 5.5. .5. But here is very important tips. You cannot type 1 plus 10 divided by 2. Why you can't do like this? Because the calculator will do the divide first, then only they do plus 1. So if, you, if I type the equal, I will get 6, which is a different value. Okay, so if you insist you don't want to like do so many steps, you please put the bracket for it. 1 plus 10 and then divide it by 2. Okay, or you can do like 1 plus plus 10, or you put a fraction, 1 plus 10 over 2. Yeah, all this method you can use, but you cannot straight away do 1 plus 10 divided by 2 because the calculator will do the divide first. And then the next one will be just uh, put a bracket, maybe 11 my, uh, plus 20, and then divide it by 2. Right, and then you will get 15.5. So if you roughly see the pattern, basically it's given plus 10 only. So I can quickly get the answer like 25.5, 35.5, and 45.5. And over here, you realize I don't have any sum of x here, isn't it? So therefore you do not need to do the sum of x here, but you need to find the fx. Because what? Later you sum all these number, we call sum of fx. And you do realize you see sum of fx over here, isn't it? Right, then we need to do one more, which is the sum of our fx square. So yeah, so we need to sum of fx square. So I will count all these number quickly. Basically, fx basically use f multiply x, which is like five multiply five by five, which is twenty seven point five. Then you just write twen just write a twenty seven point five here, twenty seven point five. All right, then fx square basically is fx multiply the x again. So in order to save some time, I will just use the 27.5 on my calculator and then I just straight away type multiply. So you realize the calculator will do the answer multiply the x again, which is 5.5. All right, then I can get one five 
1.25 all right then i will do the rest quickly here all right after i find all the sum of fx value and sum of fx square value then the rest of the work is quite easy i just need to insert all this value into uh my formula then i can easily get the answer so this is what i will do so in order to find my mean here i just need to know what is my sum of fx here which is 1335 divided by 50 then i just use the calculator 1335 divided by 50. all right then i will get the first answer which is 26.7 then if i want to find the variance is quite easy i just need to insert my sum of fx square value uh, which is 42172.5 and then over 50 and then we'll minus uh, the mean square you realize this formula and this formula look exactly the same right so i minus mean square so I just type everything into the calculator 42172.5 over 50 minus 26.7 square all right then i will get my mean uh the, my variance which is 130.56 then lastly if i want to find the standard de deviation you should know the standard deviation is basically is a square root of the variance isn't it because this formula look exactly the same as the variance here so which is square root of 130.56 so in order to use back the same number here i just type square root answer and then i type equal then the calculator will tell me my standard deviation is 11.4263 right so this is all my answer here all right right now if i want to use the calculator to double check is my answer correct or wrong so quite easy you just go to the menu and then you go for number six or you come down here you look for number six here which is statistic and this one is called one variable calculation you just type one all right right now the calculator only will show you the table for ungrouped data which you don't have a frequency so if you see carefully here you should have a frequency and an x here so right now you need to tell the calculator you need the frequency to do your calculation so what you can do is quite easy you just go to the shift and then menu look for a setup and then you come down you look for a statistic which is number three here and then you tell the calculator you want to turn on the frequency which is one then you realize you have x and frequency so what you need need to do next is quite easy insert all your x and frequency value so my x will be 5.5 and then 15.5 and then 25.5 and then 35.5 and then 45.5 because by default all your frequency will be one is preset by the calculator so if you have the different frequency definitely you need to insert it so which is five for first one second will be eight then will be 20 then will be 10 the last one will be seven okay after you key in everything ready please double confirm all the data you can use correctly to make any kind of mistake here then the last step is quite easy you ask the calculator to count the mean variance standard deviation for you you just need to tap the option and then go for the number three which is one variable calculation so which is number three here then you should have all the answer here so if i come back here i will just scroll down to double check my answer so then i check the first answer my mean is 26.7 26.7 so which is correct and then my variance is 130.56 130.56 which is correct and then i will go for my standard deviation which is this one you can see it's 11.4263 11.4263 which is all correct so this is how easy you can use the new casio 570 ex calculator to double check all your answer and make sure you don't make any care mistake here i really hope you find this video helpful so if you are interested to buy this calculator i will share the lazada link at my description below the link will bring you to the casio flagship store because right now uh, the casio malaysia are doing the promotion whoever buy this calculator from them they will actually free you a casio l file uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper in the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another five ringgit discount 
for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.